Greetings and salutations, everybody. It's Ray Koppel coming at you from Denver, Colorado. Another episode of Not a Linear Screw Guy. I uh, hope everybody's doing fine out there. And today we're going to look at Voyager. Not Spaceship Voyager, but Voyager the OS operating system from France. And you'll notice that some of the stuff you see in there. Even if you select English as your language, some of the things like text editor is all in French. Not sure why, why, but maybe they fixed that in the new edition that they just put out six days ago. It was 2204 plus, I think. We're going to take a look at it. So first, let's go over to the website and see what you got, all right? Okay, here you should see the web page for Voyager which is located at voyagerlive.org, which is, that'll be, link will be down in the description. If you want to go check it out yourself. And you notice, first thing you notice on the page is you got all this, this information right here. Basically, these are old, older ISOs that you can get. If you want to check out old ISOs, or you get the list, which is one at the top. It's Ubuntu GNOME 45 XFC no LTS. I think maybe I downloaded the LTS version last time. But I'm going to download this version right here. But to do that, you got to download. So you hit explore and you can find out more about it. Basically. Just takes you down the web page which you can scroll down yourself. You can see fast, fluid, flexible for external office, multimedia, or gaming, new environments, adapt to your need, blah, 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 all that kind of good stuff. So, yeah. So, you got several things. That's Debian Voyager, Voyager 12, Debian Bookworm. That one based on Debian 2. You can look, do that one if you want to. I think it's up here. Debian Bulls, I know. 3.38 the this is a desktop they have in here that is interesting one thing about Voyager is that they tend to install the Ubuntu versions they have the GNOME desktop and the XFC version both uh, both of them and you see how they increased numbers here for long term it's GNOME 43 XFC so we'll go check it out now, won't we? So we'll do that. You go in out here and download. And click on that. Takes you to web, the GitHub that they have. So it's so SourceForge, excuse me. I want to get people mad at me. SourceForge, and you have files here that you can see. Here's all the files you have. Get 23.04. With 3.22 is long term support. What do they have here? I'm sad that I get downloaded off as much as the other one, 228. This one's usually downloaded. But that one's out of date now, I think. This is the current one. Yeah, 23.04 plus AMD 6 course. That's what I downloaded. Here you just click on this, download the latest version, which is this one here. And there you go. That's how you do that. So, yeah, so you download that. Then you burn it on your USB stick, or you can put it on a Ventoy stick, or any other similar type functionality. You want to do DB11, then you do this one right here, I think. Well, it'll be living, I think it's less. Or this Debian here, maybe. Yeah, Debian. Well, we did it, did Bullseye 12 here, but I don't see it. Anyway, so here we are on a Ventoy screen, and what I got loaded up is Voyager 23.04 plus to look at. Two cool things about Voyager you want to know about. One, I don't think it's based on the uh, the uh, 
Star Trek Voyager episodes and stuff like that. Matter of fact, Steve, Steve from Steve's very own said something like, Seven to nine ranking with me. Seven to nine character in Voyager was, she was supposed to be one of the Borg that they, Voyager was able to extract from the collective and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, Jerry Ryan played that, I think. He made with this Voyager here. So we'll just get started on installing this guy. So we, uh, okay, now. We have here try or install Voyager. We have Voyager safe graphics, which basically means I guess that's what you need to do. Similar to compatibility settings on some people, some grub menus, where you, if you have an NVIDIA card and stuff like that, you probably want to select this. If you have a dedicated NVIDIA card, you want to select this for sure. But, uh, but this doesn't have any great special cards or written be so i'm just going to do this prior saw voyager and it usually takes these usbs a little long to get, get kicked up and going so i have to wait a little while for it i guess well got probably dell logo the dell optiplex i think 23 or 4 uh, it's based on Ubuntu 23.04. And uh, this uses Ubuntu's Ubiquity installer, I think. Okay, so you can try Voyager and install Voyager. Before we do that, though, we want to we'll just say try Voyager for a moment. Get a lot of little icons down here. You know what this is? Firefox, yeah. Files. See, there's your text editor, editor de texti. I don't know French at all. So. Oh, excuse my French. <laughs> so, notes, agenda, that's calendar, wiki, uh, private, I guess it starts private, private, you know, private, I mean, uh, I'm not sure what it's about, private, what, I'm not about to find out. Arbiter, I don't know what that is. Looks like that thing. SM Tube is a kind of a YouTube access software. Box Forger Gnome. Now, I know what that's about, so I will explore that in a little bit. Trash, obviously, and you show your apps. Now, this says all the apps I think you can get out of the box. Install it. Yeah, it's got all the apps on here. Yeah, uh, yeah, all these other ones, which contained all your. Yeah, so here's another French one. And. And then finally, you have over here on this page another host of apps. Several games here. Uh, those are all things you can get on your install of Voyager. You want them? We'll go over that in a minute when we set it up. So we'll go up here. Wi Fi. And our Wi Fi. It appears that it did. Here, a little Wi Fi connection. That's good. Now, there's XFC stuff too. They have XFC and there's D Party on here as well. There's a Salt Voyager's minute. The terminal here, real quick. Going to. Find out what it's like it installs out of the box six point two dash twenty kernel 
pretty good. So I think we update it'll be 6.3, but it's 6.2 out of without having updated it. See, this is what it installs in it, so I can put that on my framework if I wanted to. Yeehaw! Okay, with that said, let's install this. See what we got. Now, okay, so purchase at your evening language, which is English for us. Okay, continue. The keyboard layout, US, yeah, right. Now, here's where you get some interesting differences. Your normal installation has web browser utilities, off software games, and built to me all that stuff you saw that we just went through. Get all that. Or you do a minimal installation with web browser basic utility. I'm going to do a minimal installation this time. See what, how minimal minimal is. Download updates from so yeah, that. Install for third party software for graphics, Wi Fi, hardware, and just that's as well. Okay, so now I got options here. Now I have Voyager 23.04 side already on this disk, or you can erase your disk and install Voyager. Have a best feature. Basically, LMB and some of the things like that. If you like this, okay, use LMB with new Voyager installation. We'll say okay, we'll just use that for it. This is now here you go, it'll give you options where you resize all your own uh, petitions. I kind of think you want to set that up. Go ahead and erase all work I did on my Voyager. Let's see, see how the how the dual boot works. Those of you interested in that. Okay, now I have options here. I install it on this uh, SCA2, or I can install it over here. Yeah, so you move in, it'll get change how one down in your space you're going to give each one of this. Oh, now. Okay, right changes to this. Now, if you see any change, this flow will be written to this. Otherwise, be able to make further changes manually. This table is the following devices are changed. So it's basically condensed everything down in this one and then it put it on the and create space for the other it should be made so we can install this. Now it says got amount of time zones correct. Yeah. Now here's your name. This is all the standard stuff you've seen this part before. Hello. Now, uh, computer name is just about to get on the system network. Want it to be different from any other computer on the network? Hello as well. Dell Optiplay. Dell Optiplay. Another Dell in the living room over there. My mom's old Dell Dimension. Now, will you pray? Password. Probably secure password. Password. And there are some cases where I have it log in automatically. Computers like family computer around in the living room. They log in automatically, otherwise, I don't do that because 
but I will usually require my password to log in. But we'll uh, come back to it. It's 12, 12 right now, so. I will give it a minute or two minutes, I guess, what we when it started processing stuff, so. 12, 11, we'll see what it is on the other side. Be back in a minute. And it's done. 21 minutes for it to finish. Then restart and continue testing. Now see what we got. The minimal install of Voyager. And it's rebooting up in this. Yes. Okay, so there's a, my previous install. Bluetooth one instead of on Bluetooth. Alright, now we're at our DDM. Uh, it stands for GNOME Display Manager or GNOME Logging Manager is really what it is. Logs people in, that kind of thing. So, yeah, so you have to hit enter. Then you'll have this little thing down here. Ooh, ooh. Now, as we said, you have Ubuntu, which is basically basically Ubuntu anyway. Yeah, or got that. So, and Ubuntu on X or this like. Waylon, this is XOR. You also have XFC session. Log into that. Log into that first to see what it looks like. That kind of thing. So the password reset. And this is your XFC version of, of it. And I have all these little interesting things over here that's your internet I think they're setting save for lock Voyager E3 whatever that is keypad on or off that's a touchpad obviously this is a I have a touchpad this is a desktop Wi-Fi on or off easy to turn on or off your Wi-Fi there Turn off your touchpad there. If you have a touch laptop with a touchpad. E3, I'm not sure what that is. And it's just got this cocky down here. Notice we have a few less uh, things here. Here you have the web. Red brother, I'm sure you can bring up Firefox. For some reason. Put that there instead of Firefox. That's Firefox there. Version that okay 113.0 for bit good now you have files manager no file managers notice we got lunar system Where's the car? Then you next to your mouse pad SM two good vibes. The radio web, radio web, please radio station. Those problems for us. Pro browser for yeah, it's private browser for our product. And I'll do that next web browser. No box will come back to that. Software center. Settings manager. Does all of them go to the desktop. Strangely, it has a gnome icon there for it. So yeah, you got all those options there. You can click on the dock. Whoa, what happened? I turned into orange shirt all of a sudden. Yeah, well, actually, the truth is, it's like almost a month later. <laughs> I started working on this video back in the uh, beginning of June, I think it was, or into May, one of the two. And now it's in the May of June, and I'm still working on it. Part problem was that uh, I got to this section video, 
Everything after this was all choppy, like I was talking gibberish. That's probably because I had my noise gate turned up too high, so it kept chopping off the bottom of my sentences if I didn't talk loud enough. So a lot of times I don't, especially as you can tell in the previous video. So anyway, I had to adjust my noise gate so I wouldn't do that so much. And I hopefully can finish this video out and we can have Voyager. So we were talking about XFC, we talked about Firefox, and we talked about all these things over here, all the little things you have over here. And you, we talked about all the stuff here that we have on the dock. Now you also have some stuff in the application. We're gonna take that, we're gonna view the applications when we look at GNOME. Alrighty. So anyway, this is XFC's version of it. Yeah, you can use either this one or you can use the uh, GNOME version, whichever one you want. It has it on both, both, both desktops are installed at one time. It's kind of the more unique thing about this is that you get two desktops in one deal. I mean, you could install XFC on the GNOME desktop if you wanted to, but we'll go on to uh, check out a uh, GNOME version of it. Okay, well, I need to get my cursor over there. See his French up there? Log out. And then we click that, so it's that, so it's popped down here. Right the right corner. So we have AC, we say we have a boot on order and a boot on Wayland. I think I already showed you that, so we'll put a boot on Wayland. Log into that and see what we got here. And, uh, now I have updated this since the last time you're looking at it. Said it probably is up here more yeah, your time. And it says June 26, 11, 10. Well, the time's right at least. The date is definitely not. So, you got this, which is a clipboard history. And keys, looks like. Scripted folder, show manager, quit. Leave that alone for the time being, since I'm not sure if I'll need that later on or not. So it's a traditional GNOME desktop pretty much, except they have a, when you press down on the super key, you get a menu over here. A more traditional looking menu. And that's what I wanted to show that. So you got, yeah, so you got your terminal, Firefox, frequent apps, end apps, accessories, your editor, do a text day, however you say that in French. I don't know, I'm not French, I don't know any French. So don't look to me to know how to say anything on this thing, okay? Don't quote me on this, <laughs> basically. So anyway, you have to add your text editor. Looks like I got three different ones. You got, whoops. And you got this one, which is... One of these is probably mouse pad. Menu, menu editor, obviously. And it's text editor. There's two text editors. One is probably mouse pad. One is probably GNOME. I think. Hey, your extension manager, extensions, files. That's the file manager. And you got, I'm not sure what whole logos mean. De Loam. GNOME is probably some deal with GNOME, I guess. GNOME settings or GNOME tweaks or GNOME extensions. I got extensions up there, so I can't be extensions. Probably tweaks. I assume. Key pass, maps, notes, scrap, scratch, I don't know how you pronounce that either. Anyway, it's a, it's a display and control your Android device. That'd be interesting to look into at some point. And that's console there. 
And USB and driver. And you got games, you have a few games on here, Pac-Man, and Snake, Inv Invaders, Creed, Chess, Bastard Tetris, 2048. So you got a few games on here you can play around with. Graphics, and GNU, GIMP, basically. No image manipulation program or GNU image manipulation program. Image magic and visionary images, which obviously to, to look at images, image viewer. So, and you use your internet section. You got Firefox Pigeon, which is a chat function private, which is a private uh, Firefox Thunderbird mail transmission. And Y key. I don't exactly what Y key is. Search me with Wikipedia articles. Okay, so Wiki. So basically, probably how you want to say that. <laughs> so have it allows you to search Wikipedia articles. In your office, you have LibreOffice and Folate. Strange that I have all LibreOffice. Things mentioned there. So what's up, see if it does. But well, I think it do. Well, yeah. So I erase the documents on here because it's a brand new installation still. I didn't do anything really with it since the router documents. Let's see if it created router documents. Nope, oh, I think something's off. They don't have a little LibreOffice library. Cal can press all the programs are out there, just just the, just the startup program, which is this. It's not very helpful, is it? <laughs> so, close that out real quick. And then we'll go back over to menu. And I'm not sure what foliate it is. It's probably exfoliate, foliate. And text editor or something. Yeah, it's no text editor, I think. Oh, it's ebook reader. No books yet. Go on books, start reading. Got it. Library catalogs. A known version of a uh, ebook reader. Not bad, I guess. And other webinar. It looks like a chat function. Or TV one or two, I can't tell by looking at it. Doesn't have a description either for it, so who, who knows? Sound and video. We got SMU2 Pulse Effects. Uh, so we have Pavidi, which is a compositor. Music, which plays music, obviously. And MPB Media Player, which plays music, plays videos. Good Vibes, which is obviously an online radio type thing. Call plug pack for Jack. Calf plug pack for Jack. Whatever I said before. <laughs> so then you have system tools here. Then you have your basic store tools for normal software. Basically, additional drivers you can check there. Software updater. OS uninstaller. Food repair, which is handy to have. Your editor day menus. Edit menu. Settings, startup applications, tweaks, leech bit, conky, your decomp editor, your GW package installer, no ENCFs manager, and power statistics, software center. And tilde, which I'm not sure what that is, and not saying what it does. Looks like it's a uh, terminal emulator. Yeah, you your utilities, which is a uh, system monitor, tweaks, password, all these logs help. Uh, some kind of believe, you know, career 
is in Spanish belief, but I don't know about French. I always have belief of a modifier. Archive, archive manager probably is what it is. Modifies your your archive. Fonts, disk, characters, capture the screen. Yes, that is screen capture. Calculator. Yes, network configuration hours is grayed out. I just don't need that, so. Those are all the different uh, system of applications you have on here. So now the next thing I want to look at is go look at a uh, look at the new change your background section. It has some interesting uh, ones in here. You have mountains. If you like mountains, Gandalf, I think. Yeah, so yeah, the wibble wobbly windows we have going on here. I don't think I ever changed that in here, so it must be something that, that unless I changed it last time. So here you have this weird thing. Gray, if you like gray, you like gray side, you do that. Like this blue and green. Yeah, that. Red, there's a traditional one that it puts on. And this is a movement, I think. Well, no, it's not really a movement. It's Debian. Deb oh, this is Debian. Oh, it's obviously, I got some from previous. Uh, installs in here. They added the gold directory of pictures in here. At one point, because I like certain pictures in here. So, well, this is based on Ubuntu, so in theory, it could have Debian screenshots in it, but I don't think so. I think it came from previous installs I had. So, some of these may not actually be in here. Let's go mountains for now, huh? And I'm not sure what else to put on here for the time being. But yeah, so you can check it out when you see what background you have. And you always add some if you want to from pictures that you have. This box got a Linux 6.2 kernel on. Let me play it a little bigger so you can see it. 6.2023 generic kernel. Out of the box installed after updates. So, yeah. And the thing, NeoFetch, is on here. I think it was. I don't remember for sure. Yep, there it is. And it's, uh,. Got 6.2.023 in there, kernels we mentioned already. We have seven fly packs installed on here, as well as 2,557 packages. Bash 5.215. And we have Gnome 44 using Mudder. And your blue for the themes and icons. Gnome terminals are using here. And we have our basic this computer's information on it too so yeah it's using 1216 out of megabytes out of 8 gigs so a little 1.2 gigs of data now let's see yeah let's look at each top each top isn't found <laughs> oh no so let's install it and see what we got here. I don't know, nor do we. Is not installed here. I'm not gonna install it. it. No, it is on there. Okay, so I must have installed it before. Probably previous section that I did earlier. So Nala and pseudo pseudo Nala install each top.
Yeah. Very quick and soft for the most part. So, it's soft. And you got. Yeah, it's about almost one gig out of eight gigs. Memory over here. It's a little lower than what I showed on the NeoFetch, but. Then the range of averages looks pretty good overall. Now, uh, yeah, well, now we need to go for the biggie, the boxes. Spoil box forger gnome. Basically, this is the uh, settings. It also has dips with settings, things like that. So, it's got all sorts of things you can do on here. Oh, that's where I got the wallpapers from. I mean, Voyager wallpapers, Explorer wallpapers, latest wallpapers, extensions. Some of these are things you can install, some of the things you can do, like this install wine and gaming, switch Voyager to Ubuntu. So you actually switch it to straight Ubuntu, apparently. System info. The way this works, I like say you wanted to install. Uh, latest wallpapers on here. Click on that. Click OK. And then I'll install these wallpapers on here. These are additional pairs. Here's one I had before. First, then you gotta stretch it out. So these are additional wallpapers you can install just by clicking on this and installing it basically. Yeah, so yeah, these little pictures. It's an alternate way to get your wallpapers if you want wallpapers. So yeah, so that's what I had. Open up on it. Oh yeah. So you want this wallpaper, you save as. It says wallpaper as There you go, that's what I did. So you right click on this. Oh yeah, you click on this and it gives you a list of things you can do for it. So you can set as wallpaper. You also do all these other things if you want to look at it. Look at slideshow of them, that kind of thing. Show preferences, keyboard shortcuts, help about them in the viewer. Sim in viewer. So yeah. Close this and it goes back to the menu. You can look at the Explore Wallpapers, Voyager Wallpapers, Screencast, Net Speed, and Cocky Control. Yeah, I think you can take your cockies out and use whatever they have. Some interesting cocky in here, if I remember correctly. You can tell it's Auto Star. You can do Cocky Management and Cocky List Menu. So. So you know that, see it's all these extra cockies. You can also kill all cockies if you want them to. So yeah. You got the graph. Just selecting one so you can see what you got here. Graph vert. Blue graph orange. And here it pops the thing down here. Now take it out, all you gotta do is go back up here. And you gotta and you deselect it. it. Goes away. So you have base, custom. Yeah, you see there's a lot of different ones. Right now it's using time pull white. Which I think is the one in the middle. Since we were on the wrong time frame and all that kind of stuff. Moonlight, system info. You can look through them and play with them all that kind of stuff. You have auto start. Cookie management. Add and remove settings. As the main cocky you're dealing with, it will 
Do you, do you move it around on your screen position? Top right, middle right, middle, middle, middle left, bottom left, bottom middle, bottom right. You give it the, the max horizontal, max vertical. And you can hit apply and confirm. That kind of thing. So yeah. That's what that does. And it pops back up like that. Okay, your effects on shell. This is one I wasn't sure what it was the first reparation, but I, I think it was like some kind of sounds like some kind of woke thing or something. <laughs> reparation. Oh, enable new document. I think some of the leaves that are red, I, if I remember correctly, I'm not sure about this exactly. But I think if you click on them, like you want to remove, okay, it's through desktop or you want to install XFCE desktop. You can click on one of these, but I think those are just really uh critical one so you don't want to do this unless you really want to or have to but you have to know what you're doing in order to do it so be careful store data with test disk configuration purge mini tube purge sm tube purge cache pulse audio purge cache home and purge cache home and restore gnome shell so you know those options there so that's reparations. So yeah, system info. Here's what I'll show. Okay, it just shows basically your your NeoFetch. Move to NeoFetch. So yeah, it's pretty much what we've already seen. And you see we got our bus over here. In the middle of nowhere, parked somewhere weird. Greenery, jungle, looks like a jungle out there, doesn't it? So let's go over and have a talk about this, see what we think, alrighty? That was Voyager, we Voyager with Voyager. How do you like it? I think it has some positive, a lot of positive benefits, it has some interesting features that take more to explore when I have time on this video to do. I don't want to make this too long, so. We'll cut it out here, but yeah, I can see somebody liking enjoying this, but I'm based on Ubuntu, so it's kind of stable, pretty stable distro, and it's uh, got a lot of features to it, I think, that make it interesting, and something to explore, so yeah, you want to have a uh, as far as whether I'd use it or not, probably not, I don't know, I could use it if I had to, so to speak, you know, most, most distros I could use if I had to, be better than Windows, in my opinion, most of them are, some are a little weird and wonky, some of them have problems, but, but most of these distros are, I could use them if I had to type thing, so. Also depends on the situation, what you want to use it for. If you want to use it for gaming, had trouble getting this Voyager to install my NVIDIA dr dedicated driver out there in the living room. But uh, MX Linux installed no problems. So, I don't know what Voyager's problem was. I tried doing the several things and it just wouldn't do it. Didn't, I didn't like NVIDIA driver for some reason. Seems like it's had a little too busier for me though. I like more minimal desktop, so to speak. Window manager sometimes I use in desktop environments. But it's a good distro, solid distro. I'm sure people out there love it, like it. It has a nice name, Voyager. Yeah, got one of my favorite TV shows in there. So, well, I think that's about it for today. We'll see you next time. Remember, may the latest force be with you. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe, too.